Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hello guys, first of all, I want to thank all of you for the support of the channel, especially those of you who are hitting the like button and adding a comment. Thank you very much. Well, I was thinking today ahead of this uh, video, how could you make a uh, analysis when there is the war drums everywhere, all the headlines uh, about uh, Russia and Ukraine, and uh, it seems like there is so much built up during this weekend for this uh, so-called incoming war, if it comes or not. And uh, yeah, I have really no answer for that. So what I'm going to do, just looking at the charts, telling you what I see here and want you to be really careful because uh, there is an explosion of headlines all the time, changing direction and all that. What you need to know that the more the, you hear that the war will happen and if it happen, uh, be sure to buy dollar, buy gold, sell stocks. That's it. And of course, uh, Jappy and Chief gonna get stronger. Uh, but I will not go in details about those stuff. All I'm gonna do is showing you the chart, what I'm seeing, following the structure, and then it's up to you to, to be um, uh, smart and lower your risk during these times uh, because it gonna hurt if things goes badly. Okay, so we will start with uh, EURUSD, uh, checking the charts and um, keep in mind what I said in uh, last week's uh, overview. Uh, and that was uh, talking about these uh, levels. We had the top of the range, the bottom of the range, and in between we had this break, retest, and potential continuation. And that's exactly uh, what happened. Checking the lower time frame, uh, here was the planning for uh, Friday's, my Friday's briefing in our trading room, where I said, this is the key resistance. Okay, so these videos goes only for my um, traders, uh, sub subscribers, and PIFX. We were talking about this level that as far as there is no break above it, there will be a return to the downside or you wait for a break retest continuation. So what happened uh, on Friday was we did not have the break. The market failed to break higher and that's mean we are still in this lower range. So as for now, the levels are these uh, for next week and a break below that will send us lower. That's um, pretty certain if the break happens. And uh, to the upside, the same plan is still there. If they break above this area, a continuation toward this level. And keep in mind, it's all going to be headlines driven. OK, so you need to watch that as well. Checking the sterling, same here, still in uh, this consolidation phase. If we go to the daily time frame, we see that basically sterling is still inside this uh, consolidation zone nothing changed they failed to break here they failed to break here and they failed to break higher on friday as well and um, we are at the top of the range uh, right now we've got a double top we've got a broken neckline which mean potentially potentially especially after break retest we gonna see a continuation to the to the downside each time they fail to break above this area there will be a reason to sell now we could change this level here a little bit higher because we have these attempts here we have here we've got this we've got this and this so this is the new resistance for now and um, yeah each time they fail to break higher here look for a continuation lower keep in mind that this is now broken and um, any continuation like this with a bearish flag i'm looking for further downside the more the war drums um, keep going the more stronger uh, the dollar should be USD Jappy, same here. Uh, Jappy gonna surely uh, be a, a, a safe haven if uh, we see that uh, uh, the things uh, are uh, developing more than uh, what uh, they've been doing so far. You see that we have uh, some kind of a wicked head and shoulder formation here. The neck, this trend line also is broken on the daily. If we go down to the four hour time frame, we saw that they did a retest to the top here. They failed to break higher, and since then, boom impulse correction impulse potentially correction and one more leg to the downside to come 
any break below this will send that also toward these areas down below so um same here uh, jp my even though the dollar will get strong if uh, the the situation about the war keep uh, hitting the news i think uh, jp will also be even stronger as a safe haven so keep that in mind aussie will not be um, um doing good if uh, this situation continue as it is even though uh, if we check the chart on the daily we have higher low higher high higher low higher high and here they failed once again to break higher got rejected uh, on friday and if we go down to the four hour time frame you see that we had these moves here and then last friday a failure to break higher this could be a key sign that we might see something like this coming and uh, if the the negative headlines keep hitting the wire this um, we could say that this is uh, the um, correction or the bearish flag and um, it is broken and we might see further downside now if you want to be certain about the the continuation lower you need to see a break below this area so if that would be the case look for retest and then continuation lower usd cad still inside this uh, consolidation zone checking the daily you see it clearly here we uh, still have the same plan and i will repeat what i said uh, and what i've been saying in our trading room as well we keep playing this range waiting for a break out of it as for now it says it is still inside this range so all we are doing is buying the low selling the high waiting for a breakout if the um again if the news keep getting negativity uh, on the headlines we look for a break and retest actually because um yeah war is again good for the dollar not good for many other currencies usd chief this one gonna be tricky usually chief is a good safe haven and we see here uh, all the rejection is coming from above and uh, there is still some room to reach this level and there is still some room to reach the bottom of the range this market been going sideways for a very long time and now if we go down to the four hour time frame you see it clearly the failures to break higher here then they broke the neckline uh, and the trend line um, so for next week, uh, potentially what we should be looking for is a retest of this area, continuation, and if they break below this, then we are uh, testing the bottom of the range on this one. And gold, of course, gold is strong now um, as a safe haven as well, uh, both from inflations and uh, because of the um, war drums. So we got the break, retest, and continuation, and uh, I would not stop uh, being bull here until uh, they retest this level or potentially even higher. Why would the bulls take profit here? So I think uh, the next target is um, surely this previous high. And after that, we start looking at these levels. Going down to the four hour time frame, you see that um, each move been extended strongly. So maybe expect something like this to happen once again to then look for a continuation move. So look for uh, uh, corrections to buy them uh, the least correction should be toward this level and if they go even further down the next uh, level of interest gonna be uh, this area on gold oil um, still fighting here checking the daily you see that oil is fighting we do have a bearish divergence um, try to break the trend line to then get rejected um, I'm still I'm thinking now soon it is time for oil to to give us a little a little bit of a bigger correction checking the four hour time frame we see a failure here failure here and yet a failure here but still no real break uh, what I'm really want to see is a, a strong break below this um, horizontal uh, zone here uh, I want to see a strong break below this then we could expect a, a strong correction down but as for now it is still a bullish market so be careful as far as this low is not broken this might continue higher okay so be aware of that um, uh, scenario on um, on oil and um, yeah, guys, that was it for this week. Thanks a lot. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.